Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh kit from IBG models. It is molded in 170 second scale and it is interesting because we have here actually two kits in one box. As you can see PZL P11 and PZL P actually just 37B loss bomber and the kit's name is September Sky 1939 so you get to copy two main Polish aircraft in the same scale and it might be interesting diorama scene or maybe just a combo to display on your shelf. So this is a commercial sample it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. We are going to open it and check the contents. First of all box is slightly thicker here you can see comparison with my hand and here is the thickness. You also can see some other kits from the same brand. We reviewed some of them so you can find their reviews on our YouTube channel and here on the other side you can see marking options which are included into this kit. This is a top opening box and let's open it. Here is what we have inside. So obviously this is just a mix of two kits together. We are going to open them one by one and check all the parts closer. So just give me a second. We are going to start with this sealed plastic bag and here I will have to use scissors in order to cut through. And you can see that we have a lot of grey plastic spruce here. Okay, so we are going to start with the smallest one. This one is dedicated to various wing and landing gear struts. And as you can see they are molded in a quite nice quality. We have thin attachment points. So it should be easy to separate these parts and install into the necessary spot. Next we continue with second grey plastic sprue. This one carries a mix of various elements because here we get the tail wings or actually these are elevators as well. And also here we have cockpit 4, the rear wall for the cockpit and some struts for the wings. Again molding quality looks nice but note that here due to packaging one part is slightly bent so you have to fix it somehow I guess. And here you can check the parts from another side. Okay. Next we continue with third grey plastic sprue. This one carries wing ports. So wing division here is quite unusual I would say because as you can see top half features more um, I would say detail or more area, bigger area than the lower house because wing edges will be actually used as a guiding elements. And note that here we have these thin parts, they will be used as a ailerons actuators, so you have to be careful in order not to break them. As you can see, they are slightly wide, so they were pressured due to the tight packaging, and you might end up with broken off elements. Next, we go on with Ziploc back. Here we have more parts for the P11, so just give me a second. Okay, so we start with this sprue here. We have various minor elements such as machine guns and some other parts. You can see that their size is not that big, but let's not forget that this is a 170 second scale kit. Next we continue with engine coal part here and also engine gear wheels, which are molded as a one piece element. Such design should make it easier to assemble everything together. Next we continue with one piece propeller and also another part for the engine cooling. But note that propeller has the attachment points right on the blades which is not that cool. You have to be careful while separating this stuff. Okay. Next here we have separately molded ailerons and engine. Engine looks great. And for one 70 second scale kit out of the box, it is fine, but I mean, you can detail it with help of careful painting and weathering, so it will look good on the finished model. And then we have, let's say, final sprue for this kit, so it includes the fuselage halves. Note that tail area is molded separately, the same can be said about cooling. And here you can see that inside we have some minor detailing, which is really cool, because not that many manufacturers actually provide some internal detailing. And external detailing features recessed panel lines and rivets, so it should be relatively good looking aircraft out of the box. Okay. Now we can move on to the clear plastic sprue for this kit, here it is. 
so it comes in the separate plastic bag in order to avoid scratches. Here you can see all possible clear parts, obviously only one will be used because we are not replicating all the types of this aircraft, so the only uh, open cockpit version will be used. Okay. Next we continue with bigger aircraft, that's a loss bomber. So this one comes in sealed plastic bag, again I have to use scissors in order to open it and we will take a closer look in a second, so just give me a moment. In the meantime, if you appreciate our work, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it helps us to grow and also to distribute these videos to other viewers, would say. So here we have first grey plastic sprue for the Lost Bomber. As you can see, these are wing halves. They are molded together with engine gondolas. This is a large cockpit floor panel. And here we have the ailerons, I guess, which are molded separately here. Inside we do not have any guiding elements, which is quite surprising for such large wing parts. You will have to be careful while combining them together. Next we continue with another pair of wing house and also some mechanization here and if you flip it over you can notice that um, flaps are molded separately, ailerons are also molded separately so you will be able to replicate them on your aircraft. Next we continue with clear plastic sprue, again it comes in the separate plastic bag and again I have to use scissors in order to open it so just give me a sec. Here we have obviously the canopy parts, masks are not included and note that nose area was broken off due to such attachment point but nothing serious, I mean it's not damaged and here you can see it so it looks completely fine but masks are not included and with such canopy it will be quite a tedious job to do so I would recommend to search for some aftermarket in order to have a more or less easier work to do. Next we go on with another plastic bag and another set of sprues and here you can see we have fuselage parts as well as some of the external surfaces so just give me a sec okay so what do we have here First of all we have rudders, so as you remember tail section here is molded separately so you have to use the separate parts. Okay. Next we go on with fuselage halves, so these come on the separate plastic sprue, we have here recess panel lines and inside we have quite generous detailing so it will be a shame not to detail it even more with painting and weathering, maybe to think how to expose it on the finished model so that it will be somehow visible on the assembled aircraft. Next we go on with more of the external elements, so these are various panels. Here we have the tail fins and also elevators, so they look quite fine in my opinion. Maybe these are actually the tail wings, not the tail fins. Okay. Next we have the two types of the engine cooling, so obviously one pair will be used and another one will go into a spare parts box, but it's really cool that they are molded as a single piece elements, so it means easier installation and you won't have to fiddle with separate panels in the cooling parts. Next we have another sealed plastic bag and that's actually the last one with grey plastic sprues, so I'm going to open it and we will take a closer look just like before. Okay. Here we have more parts for the bomber, so as you can guess it's a really detailed kit. Here for example you can see pair of identical plastic sprues, so I will show you only one, because they carry identical plastic parts. Here we have for example landing gear wheels, propeller, bombs, engine, landing gear doors or bomb bay doors as well. And everything looks fine, uh, propeller again has attachment points on the blades, I'm not sure why ABG models implement such uh, molding design, but I mean you will have just to be careful with these parts and you will be fine. 
Next we have last grey plastic sprue, so this one is mainly detailed uh, or dedicated to the cockpit parts, here you can see them on the lower half and here we have large um, compartments for the bomb bay, they will be installed straight away on the aircraft. That's really cool again because you won't have to combine separate panels together, you get them as a one piece parts out of the box. And next we have the plastic bag with decals and P-thread, so again it is sealed. But straight away I can say that it is printed by TechMod, so printing quality should be completely fine. And as far as you can see we have decals for the cockpit as well, so just give me a sec, I will show it to you. So first of all here it is, decal sheet, note that we have separation between uh, P11 and 37 Pazel. And again as I said we have decals for the instrument panels, here you can see one and here is another one. And what I'm holding in fingers is the transparent film. It will be used for the canopy on the P11, so be ready for such stuff, it will be quite a tricky thing to do, but the final result will be rewarding. And next we also had in the same plastic bag two P threads, here they are, unpainted P threads, and they will be handy for fine detailing of these kits. Let's not forget that this is a 170 second scale kit, so these parts are more than welcome because they will add some fine details to your aircraft models. And next we have assembly manual, so here it is, printed in form of large color printed brochure. Here we have um, paints chart on the first page, no history note unfortunately. Next we go with parts map and assembly process starts with Pazel 37 bomber was. So as you can see everything is shown with help of this 3D pictures, which is actually quite helpful so that you understand what you have to do. Here, by the way, you can see the single piece bomb compartments. Next, we continue with engine gondolas and wheel wells. Then, we do the same on the opposite side. Here, you can see that you can assemble the bomb bay in open or closed position, which is also quite a useful feature. Then we continue with installation of the main bomb bay, here you continue with stencils placement, so there are some stencils included as you remember. And here we start to work on the P11. So with P11 everything starts with cockpit, then you continue with fuselage obviously, then you assemble the engine, again you have to install a lot of P parts, so be ready use some sharp tweezers because otherwise it will be helpless and here we work on the PE canopy with film combined so it is quite interesting design but it will be more up to scale and let's not forget that there are also plastic parts included so in case you are not able to assemble this stuff you can use the plastic part and here is the marking option so this aircraft comes from September 1939 another one comes from the same date and one more the same date of course as well and all of them are from Warsaw and here we have the second marking guide for the bomber which is really cool so it means two for each aircraft and I mean you can build a quite an interesting combo in a small scale which won't take a lot of space of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for watching and bye